If you have a desk mic or arm mic, make sure to switch up the cardioid pattern so you know how to speak into it properly. If you have options to go for the heart-shaped cardioid pattern, that's probably the safe bet. A mic windscreen or pop filter are cheap one-time purchases and will help reduce plosives, which could cause loud audio spikes and help reduce breathing noises. Quick tip for someone suffering with a crackling mic is to set up a script to run on computer startup to automatically fix the crackling mic. There's going to be a copy and paste of this text in the description which will tell you how to create the bat file as well so you can run as a script. Make sure to save this to your desktop. Next, search task scheduler in Windows search and then run it as administrator. Then press create task on the very right and follow the same layout you see here. Make sure to run with the highest privileges here. For triggers, make sure to do at logon if any user and enabled. For actions, go to your directory where your audio dg.bat is and include that as a start a program action. Conditions, you don't need anything. Settings, you could just do this over here. And then history, you don't need anything. Press OK and then apply and then you should be good to go. Other tip before messing with OBS is to either improve the gain or the loudness of the microphone on its physical dial or you could do that through OBS or Windows. The safest way to do this personally is through Equalizer APO. The link will be in the description. You can see here I put my microphone and then I just boosted the gain here and then I saved it. If you ever change mics or anything like that, make sure to remove all the settings. Set it back to default and remove it so that you don't accidentally mess anything up because there's been reports of that. So very important step if you ever decide to change things up. So the link will be in the description for Equalizer Piece APO. And then you want to increase the doll of the microphone so that it's negative 15 to negative 12 or slightly lower than that, which you can kind of see here. Now, OBS time. This is what the mic sounds like without adjustments and listen at higher volumes to tell the difference is better. Pay attention to the breathing and mouth noises throughout. A gold ring will please most any girl. She saw a cat in the neighbor's house. A pink shell was found on the sandy beach. The grass and bushes were wet with dew. She called his name many times. Kick the ball straight and follow through. Read verse out loud for pleasure. The coastal air gets a girl to reflect. This is me breathing heavily during sentences. Okay. This is what my mic sounds like with adjustments. Pay attention to the breathing and mouth noises throughout. A gold ring will please most any girl. She saw a cat in the neighbor's house. A pink shell was found on the sandy beach. The grass and bushes were wet with dew. She called his name many times. Kick the ball straight and follow through. Read verse out loud for pleasure. The coastal air gets a girl to reflect. This is me. Breathing heavily during sentences. <laughs> to adjust your mic, go into your settings and be sure to select the correct mic over here. Usually default is going to be the one you want. Okay, now go to the three dots under mic and click filters. There's been an update for the first time in two years to RN noise in women's version which allows better customization. The link will be in the description. Close OBS first, install the downloaded stereo.dll file into C, Program Files, Steinberg, VST plugins, or create the folders, then launch OBS again. This noise cancelling VST plugin is exceptional. It's very light on resources and with every filter on and recording OBS, it's using only 2.5% CPU and 500 megabytes of RAM. The VAD threshold is the percent the AI is confident where it picks up a voice. The author states values from 85% to 95% are fine. The personal testing showed 95% was good. It's better to be safe and include bad audio than to remove good audio since you can edit the bad audio out. So setting a percent of 85% accidentally helped me remove plosives when talking to. So yeah, this one is probably the one you're going to want to go for that you can experiment. The VAD grace period is to ensure words don't get cut out. And personally, setting this to 50 milliseconds or 5 is pretty good for me. Though different mics exist and everyone has a different voice. Retroactive VAD grace period prevents the start of words or sentences from being cut off. 
though be careful because setting this higher than zero will introduce a delay when you talk and when OBS registers the talking. If you sing or stream, keeping this at zero might be best, while if you record or do interviews, setting this to 10 milliseconds or 20 milliseconds should be okay, or a value of one or two. The next setting is the noise gate. This allows for the mic to not let any noise in when under the close threshold, while it hears every noise when at or above the open threshold. To find the right setting for you, start with the default settings or these settings, and set the hold time and release time to 0 milliseconds for the both. If you cut out a lot, it's okay. If your breathing gets completely cut out too, then you found a good spot to start adjusting settings. Hold time is how long the gate will stay open after falling below the open threshold. Think of hold time is the grace period. Release time is how long the gate takes from being opened to closed. Attack time is the opposite, so from being open closed. Start by keeping the attack time at 25 milliseconds and adjust hold time and release time by 50 milliseconds twice until reaching 100 milliseconds for both, after which you can increase by 20 milliseconds each time. Go until your words don't cut off. The best way to find the highest time is to say this sentence, this is true for the following reasons, with the S's at the end not being cut off. Attack time should be safe to adjust to 5 milliseconds, but don't go lower than 5 milliseconds. This should heavily reduce breathing too. Yeah, if you, if you notice me breathing, you can hear the sharp inhale very briefly, and it's much better compared to the unadjusted mic breathing eye. The three band equalizer adjusts how your voice sounds, which you can play around with, though generally it's fine without it. The compressor, on the other hand, it makes loud sounds quieter and is usually used by interviewers. Compressors would be placed right after the RNN Noise Women plugin. When Twitch streaming and making YouTube videos, people like hearing the different levels in my voice. So in my case, it's better to not have a compressor actually. Next up is the limiter, and this should be placed at the end of the chain. The limiter is very important because if your mic picks up sounds too loud and goes at the end of the red over here, it is extremely loud to people and causes the audio to distort and just generally sound bad and degrade in quality. Setting these settings at the end will reduce the mic if reaching this red level. As you can see, the highest I go is negative six, which is what I set it to. So adjust your mic and use Harvard sentences to make sure your mic avoids plosives, breathing noises, math noises, and cancels noise the best that it can after adjusting a little bit. Do note that a bad mic can't be too much better when adjusted. If you're wondering how there's no math clicks or saliva when talking during the recording, that's because of an RX9 plugin for math D-click. Search Isotope RX9 a Legacy Standard Version which should help you download it on the official website, though you may not be able to get the Math D-Click plugin into OBS. RX10 and above versions are discontinuing having the plugins in the VST form, so those won't give you the plugins. However, the RX application is used by many in the audio industry, and it's extremely powerful in audio editing. It is quite expensive, so do a trial version first if you're thinking about buying. Audacity is quite a good free alternative and has a good math D-click plugin free, though it can only be used in editing. If you want to use your new mic without only streaming or recording in OBS, then download VB Virtual Audio Cable. The link will be in the description. When installed, go to OBS, then go to Settings and Audio, and then go to the Advanced section and choose Cable Input VB Audio Virtual Cable under the drop down and then click apply and then OK. Then finish by clicking the gear icon under mic and then set the mic to monitor and output over here. You can just press the close, no need for apply or anything. After installing, be sure to set up a recording device as default. So in here I use NVIDIA Broadcast as my default because when I close OBS, the mic changes to a different one. And since this one will be the default, I don't really have to do much work. If you want to hear yourself, you can right click on cable output, go to properties, go to listen, and then click listen to this device and hit apply. One little known trick is you can actually go to levels and right click 
to see decibel output instead. Impressive how my $200 mic went from sounding bad to this high. How much did you think this mic was when hearing it at first? Okay, honestly this mic isn't actually $200, it's $80 US and it's attached to a gaming headset. Surprising, I, I could probably make it a little bit better though I've already spent 12 hours figuring all this out. If you're looking to buy desk or arm mics, USB mics are actually good. Don't listen to what people say. They're stigmatized for being bad when they were pretty bad. Though they're definitely some of the best now considering their purposes and the price points. If you have good audio tips to share, or just want to share what a difference this video made, please do so in the comments. Cheese.